I've been filming in nature for a very, very long time. It is definitely something really hard to make a living as far as just nature photography or nature cinematography, but it definitely makes a massive difference with the viewer, with how they feel emotionally. And especially for all of us now, with COVID and everything else kind of being trapped inside, we all could use a little more nature or a lot more nature. Our new channel, Visual Scape, everything we do to capture anything is done with a Manfrotto tripod. It's what I've used from the very beginning of my career all the way up until now. Okay, so we got the Manfrotto tripod. We're here at the gorgeous Goblin Valley. Filming, it looks like outer space out here. Sunrise, we were here for sunset. Just capturing the beauty of the earth and just making it look good. But to get those shots, you guys have to wake up early. It's always miserable but you'll never regret it afterwards. We never stop filming until it's completely pitch black. This is actually some of my favorite time to film. It definitely looks really good on people as far as you don't have the sun overhead with those really harsh shadows. So we just got a shot here in Cathedral Valley. That is called the sun. And then over there to my, to your left is the moon. Another big tip with filming nature with a tripod is because the camera isn't moving a whole lot as far as not, it's not on a jib, it's not on a dolly, a, a glide cam is try and create movement by throwing leaves right in front of the camera lens, which creates the illusion that the leaves are falling when in reality, they're not. So intervene, feel free to move things. So for example, a couple days ago, I was filming a rock kind of in the water, but it was popping out of the water. It was really bright and your eyes instantly were drawn to that. So I splashed a bunch of water on that rock so it wouldn't stand out as much. A big tip with filming in nature is patience. That is huge. Whether I'm waiting for the sun or if a tourist decides to start walking down this trail, you are constantly waiting. Now, a good example of this is yesterday we were filming on a boardwalk and every 30 seconds to a minute, there'd be two, three, four, sometimes seven or eight tourists walking on the boardwalk. I didn't want to see any tourists, so we just wait patiently and wait and wait. So I film a lot of close-ups while that was going on. And once they left, we have sometimes three or four, six, seven minutes to then get all our nature shots. So a lot of filming in nature is about being patient and waiting for people to get out of the shot or for the sun to pop behind the clouds or in front of the clouds, depending on what you're trying to achieve. It's sunny. So golden hour is the first hour and the last hour of the day. That is when you're filming landscapes the lighting is going to look the best. And as the sun's rising, it looks incredible. You have a very nice, beautiful lighting, especially when filming landscapes, and especially when filming red rocks where the rocks just pop. Now, one of the things that I just found out recently, and you'd think this is common sense, but I'm sharing it with you because I went out with one of my favorite photographers, Scott Jarvie, and I asked him like, what's your favorite time to photograph? And he's like, clouds make such a big difference when they're in this scene. And of course you gotta fight them because you have the sun going in and out of the clouds, especially for a cinematographer. But now we got clouds, we got the sun popping, so everything is popping, and it just gives it that much more texture and that much more depth. Some of the best advice I can give you guys is before any location you guys go to, do your research ahead of time. So in this case, we're filming at where are we? Capitol Reef National Park. So I jump on Google, I search Capitol Reef National Park, I added wallpaper to it, and then the best images start popping up of this location. And one of the locations that popped up is this image right here. I had never seen it before, so I'm like, okay, I wanna do something similar. So we went to the visitor center, asked them if they knew where it was. They didn't know where it was, but they pointed us in a general direction of the rock that you see featured. And then we hit it off and then as we start doing our little journey is we see an old fashioned wagon right here. So that's what I'm filming right now. Doing like a slow relaxing video for our visual skate channel of that. And then from there, we're gonna go and try and find that location I found on Google. So there you have it. That is our tips and tricks with filming outside in mother nature, but definitely something that makes a massive difference. If you want any more information with the tripod that we had featured throughout the entire video, or the tripod legs for that matter, or tripod head, links down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching, over and out.